Hello, Jessica Frost Ballas here with a video for Chibitronics. Today we're continuing our video series, Chibitronics for Paper Crafters, and I'll be showing you how to use the free templates available on our site to effortlessly create a light up circuit. So let's get started. If you visit chibitronics.com slash start, you will find a resource page for our collaborative products with We Are Makers. At the bottom of the page or in the sidebar, you can click on the templates. This will open up a page with six free templates that you can use to create light up circuits. Each circuit has an individual video tutorial, design team examples, and a link to the printable PDF. Click the template link and it will open up a PDF that you can download or print for your own personal use. To start, I've printed out the one light circuit template and I'll be using the foam battery holder from Chibitronics and We Are Makers. Fold the cardstock piece in half along the score line and remove the adhesive backing to adhere it to the square in your template. Make sure the opening is on the right, following the image on the template as a guide. Next, you'll peel the adhesive backing off one side of the C-shaped foam tape piece. Adhere it to the inside of the battery holder so that the opening is on the top and you can see the gray lines on the holder in the opening. For now, do not remove the adhesive backing from the top of the foam ring. Next, we'll apply our conductive fabric tape. The template has helpful colorful lines to show the red positive and blue negative lines of the circuit, but they're just a color reference and you'll use the same tape for both lines. Start by applying tape along the blue negative line, starting inside the C foam piece. Run it up along the panel and when you reach the corner, fold the tape in the opposite direction that you want to go to create a crease, then fold along that crease in the correct direction. Continue running the tape until you reach the smaller negative point of the sticker outline. Cross over the sticker outline and then trim off the excess. Next, you'll apply a second piece of fabric tape. This piece will begin on the inside flap of the battery holder and will fold up and over the front of the battery holder. Use the same folding and creasing method when you reach the corner and then run the tape up to the longer positive side of the sticker outline. Cross over the sticker outline without crossing the tapes and then trim off the excess. Open your battery holder and place a 3 volt coin battery in the holder with the positive side facing up. We recommend using the CR2032 or CR2016 coin batteries. Finally, you'll use the printed outline as a guide to adhere your LED sticker to the template, ensuring that the longer positive side is on the bottom and the shorter negative point is on top and the sticker covers both pieces of tape. When you close the battery holder and apply pressure, the positive line of tape touches the positive side of the battery, completing the circuit and the LED sticker lights up. At this point, you can trim the template down to an A2 panel and adhere it to a card base for your design. You can see that I'll need to trim a little off the left side of the template so that it fits securely under my card front, and I'll show you how to do that a little later. You can also create your own DIY battery holder to use with our templates from a strip of cardstock and your favorite foam tape. Trim the strip down to two inches by one inch. Fold it in half and adhere it to the template panel so that the opening is on the right. Add a little adhesive inside the battery holder to hold your battery in place. Next, you'll apply your conductive fabric tape as we did in the first example. I wanted to show you what you can do if you happen to cut your tape too short. With our conductive fabric tape, you can simply cut another piece of tape and overlap the two to continue your circuit. We don't really recommend having multiple pieces of tape for a single line, but this is a great way to fix a mistake. I add a short piece of tape to finish covering my blue negative line. Next, I adhere my battery inside the holder with the positive side facing up. Then I add tape to the red positive line of my circuit. Again, I adhere my LED sticker with the positive side down and the negative point up. When I close the flap, the positive line of tape touches the positive side of the battery, completing the circuit and the LED sticker lights up. Finally, I add strips of foam mounting tape around the battery, which will add a little space between your holder and battery top, so that you have to apply pressure to get the circuit to complete. All of our templates can be used interchangeably with any of our LED stickers, as long as you ensure that the positive side of the sticker connects to the positive side of the battery and the negative point of the sticker connects to the negative side of the battery. Here you'll see that I can carefully peel up the sticker and exchange it for one of our animating LEDs. 
as long as the positive side of the sticker connects to the positive side of the battery and the negative point of the sticker connects to the negative side of the battery, your LED sticker will light up. The positive side of our LED stickers is always the larger side, while the negative point is always the smallest. And just a quick tip, if you pull up the tape to move it around and it pulls up the cardstock and loses its stick, you can always trim that off and then add another strip of tape to continue your circuit and ensure that your LED sticker will light up. As you'll see, that template has two different places where I've repaired tape problems by adding more tape, and the LED sticker still functions the same as the first circuit. When it comes to finishing your card, you can insert a strip of cardstock between the top of the battery and the top flap of the holder to temporarily disconnect the circuit. This is a great way to ensure that your card will not light up while it's in the mail. When the recipient receives your card, they can pull out the strip, and then when they press down, the LED sticker lights up. Alternatively, you can peel off the adhesive backing and seal the battery holder shut. This is preferred if you're handing your card to someone rather than sending it through the mail. On our site, you can also find templates specifically designed for our animating LEDs, and I'll include the link in the description below. You'll follow the same procedure for adhering the battery holder and tape, and then adding the battery and LED sticker. Again, you can exchange any of the LEDs for a different template as long as you make sure that the positive side of the sticker connects to the positive side of the battery and the negative point of the sticker connects to the negative side of the battery. Finally, I want to show you how to use the template for a finished card. I have this card I created a while ago and I decided to add a light up element to it. I punched a hole in the eye of Let It Snow and then lined up the panel over my template. There's a little extra showing on the left side, so I use a pencil to mark that overlap and then trim off the extra piece of template. I adhere the template to a top folding card base and then add foam mounting tape around the edges, avoiding the bottom of the battery holder so I can slide a strip of cardstock there to prevent the circuit from completing for mailing. Then I simply adhere my Polar Bear panel on top and now I have a fun light up holiday card. Once you've created your first one light circuit, you can check out these additional templates available on our website. Just follow the same process you used for the one light circuit to add additional lights and effects. We have a two light version, two different three light versions, a slide sequence switch template, and a larger version intended for scrapbooking or journaling pages. There's also a video for each template on our website linked in our YouTube description below. Be sure and stay tuned as we'll continue to add more templates to give you even more inspiration for your creations. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video in the Chibitronics for Paper Crafter series and stay tuned for a new video next month. Be sure to subscribe to the Chibitronics YouTube channel and follow us on social media for lots of crafty inspiration. Thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic day and happy crafting. Bye!